guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we are venturing down this road. Now this road is called Amarcus's Drive and if you look at the map now, where we are currently at is where I'm circling and where we're heading towards is where the X is and it's 3.11 miles approximately. I thought let's have a look down this road and see what gems are hidden and what beautiful nature sights we can see. What are these uh, flowers? Or are they flowers or are these weeds? What the heck are they are? They are absolutely beautiful. Guys, just look at this house here. Oh my God, I've just found my dream home. Wow, I would love to live here in the middle of all of this. What's this? Mifflin Valley, one and a half, uh, half a mile there. And then we've got Morse, Gorse, uh, Gorse, sorry, a half a mile there. Yeah. Apparently it's that way. <laughs> okay, we are coming up to another sign here, guys. Let's see what this one says. Danger, forestry, work, follow all signs and instructions. Oh my word. We have some water just in that area there, guys. You can't quite see it on camera, but there is water there. I'm excited to see what we can see down here. Right, what's it say? Bike crossing ahead, okay. Keep roads, gates, and verges clear. Fair dues, no worries. Now, I don't have my wellies on, guys, but just look at this. See, now that, to me, is a hidden gem, right? It may be man-made, it may be, you know, looking gross and whatever to most people, but to me, that is absolutely beautiful. And this here, this water is going into a drain somewhere here. Wow. We've got some bricks here. These are bricks here. And it goes into there. So it flows down this way into this. And now I've just seen the other side of where this water comes out. And there's the other side of that water that we just seen, guys. All right, now we've uh, looked at this water, we're going to carry on our little walk and uh, see what other uh, gems we can find in this area. Do you know what? It's got me thinking, guys. That water course that we just saw just now, I think that actually might feed into the Rising Brook. And my, what gives me that idea is because if we carry on going down this road as I'm going, this leads us to the area where the Rising Brook is. Kind of is going downhill as well, so it makes sense, but I will say one thing. I'm absolutely loving these uh, these bushes, leaves, tree. I don't know what you call them, but look at that. It's pretty cool. And it looks like we've got two uh, ramblers ahead. I suppose you could call, you know, John's Adventures a sort of a rambler. Oh, and what have we got over here? Oh, now this is a nice little area to see the water go by. And it gets, it's very dark as well under here. Wow. But just look at this. Why are these rocks here so black? Wow. All right then, let's carry on down this uh, road. Right, we can see some more of this water here as well, guys. I must admit, as I was walking uh, down this direction here, there's a lot of these areas that seems to be clear of trees and such. You can just walk up. I 
absolutely beautiful, peaceful and magical. Those trees are absolutely massive though. Wow. Looks like we uh, lose the, uh, the water source here. This area is so freaking beautiful. No matter how far you go, what's this here? Now this isn't the first one that I've seen of these. I'm assuming this won't be open. Oh no, it's definitely locked in there tight. What, what have we got here? Integrated Water Services Limited. If you know any more information about that, that'd be great if you could put it in the comments below. So this is where the water flows into then. So it looks like it goes into some sort of a pool area here, right? And then it flows out of that, it goes into this somewhat of a track of sorts down there. Okay. Now at one point, was there a water course that led you down here? That used to come into this water course here? Because it looks like at one point it used to have water coming for it, or something going for it at least. Because what a strange shape that is. We are now pretty much at the halfway mark on this uh, long road. Now I'll be interested to see where that water uh, source has disappeared. And this area here where we are heading towards is the Rising Brook. The Rising Brook goes under this um, road here shoots off over that direction there. Alright guys, we have got to get ready to uh, sprint across this road. This is the A460 and it's the Hedgeford Road. There is no natural crossing to cross, so we'll be able to do this now in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty then. Caution, moving vehicles ahead. Intriguing. Oh, just crikey guys, just look up there what I've just noticed. We have some blocks there of concrete or some, it looks like some stone of some sort in that area of there where I'm circling. I'm gonna have a little look down this area here to see what we can see down here. There's a wall here. Just there where I'm pointing there. And there's a wall over there, just in this area there's, there's a couple of walls here. Now I don't know if they're boundary walls or something. Not too sure. Staffordshire County Council, con conversation zone, no access. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here and have some food and a bit of relaxation and then get on to doing the rest of this uh, walk. I feel much refreshed now. Let's commence on this journey of ours. So let's crack on and see what else we could find. Interesting detail on this post here. Is that a camera or something in there? Whoa, look at this house here, guys. I am finding so many beautiful houses here. It's unbelievable. Look at this. That house is literally in the middle of nowhere here. Ha! <laughs> Sweet! Just notice this, guys. We've got what looks to be a curb here. Was this at one point a path on that side? And this was a road here. Very intriguing. Got to be honest, guys. This is definitely a bit of a steeper hill than I thought it'd be, and um, we still got some of these what looks to be curbs. Look at that, guys! Look at the markings on these stones here. Wow, absolutely cool! And they're all like it is on this road. Right, it looks like we're finally off that hill now, guys. Oh, that was intense. Ooh, well, that is intriguing. Nope. No John, we have to carry on this way. Just been noticing these trees here guys. I've never seen these trees before. I must admit at one point I was a smidgenly thought that they might have been cactuses but then I thought nah that can't be right. And there's also what looks to be an old fence that used to go across here. But anyway it looks like we are now going downhill here and uh, I must admit I think it's gonna start raining. The first bit of tarmac we have seen on this entirety of this route. The amount of birds you can hear in this area is absolutely awesome. All right. Oh, 
Now that is what you call perfect placement. Look at that. I'm thinking I'm gonna have myself a little break here, guys, and uh, soak in the uh, scenery here. It's like these trees just seem like they go on for miles and miles. What the hell, what have we got here? This is intriguing. See what, whoa. You go boys. Craig, they were going fast guys. But let's have a look at this. Oh, this is nice. Electrum Cells Limited, Community Memorial Orchard, caring for our local community. Now you wouldn't have thought you were seeing that next to here. All right, anyway guys, let's commence this little journey. I will be honest guys, this area is absolutely popular for cyclists, runners, ramblers, all sorts of different activities. And here's a prime example. You have two elderly people just down there guys. There's two elderly people there walking up there. It's just a perfect area for all ages, genders and come here and enjoy this area. I've noticed just down there is a few people and a few cars. So I'm intrigued to see what's down there. Now, if I've got my coordinates correct, this should be um, Marcus's Drive uh, like visiting centre here. Whoa, what's this? Crikey, 1942 to 1945. Now, I did not expect to see that, guys. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to commence our little journey up across this bit here. There has been a lot of areas that I've seen off camera, guys, that we will explore in future adventures. Whoa, hello. We have Pie Green Tower there, guys. All right, let's go. Well, jog on this way. Wow, this area has just been surprise after surprise after surprise for me today, guys. All right, let's carry on. Wow. That's concreted, that. Intriguing. And I can see a bricks and stuff in amongst all that area as well. So was there a build here at one point? Must have a look at the map when we uh, get home. Wow, guys, look at that tree. No, hang on, is that one? It's like three, four trees into one there? That's fantastic. Got a lot of moss as well on the ground over there. Just look at all these trees. The space that is in between them as well. It's like a ditch there. It looks like there's a bit of a gully here that goes across this uh, grass area here. And I've noticed it stays consistently going on the left hand side so that makes me question like many years ago was that a water course in itself or was that man-made strange it's starting to come down a little bit heavy now for rain and we've got cars coming all the way around us uh, it's getting a really busy area this road is now well it looks like we are coming to the end of our little journey today guys And there we go guys, we are now at the end of our journey. I'm absolutely pleased with everything we've managed to see today. I am especially happy seeing that water course and also there's a little bits of bricks that we managed to find along the way. And I must admit the amount of trees and the different birds and the different sounds is absolutely spot on. So I highly recommend if you want to do this trail, come and do the Marcus's drive, you know, anytime as long as it's yeah, dry for weather. But anyway guys, it's starting to get really, really wet now. So I really want to say thank Thank you all for coming by and watching this video and always do your best to stay positive and screw this negatives and I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye-bye.